Hello guys and welcome back. So two weekends ago was PAX West, which went from August 31st up to September 3rd. And every year the community really thinks that there might be some Borderlands 3 news and that Gearbox will finally decide to show off Borderlands 3. And once again in 2018 we were let down. So let's break down what that means for the future of the game and then what we should expect moving forward from Gearbox. Before I start, I just want to say the thumbnail was made by Wright, so I'll link all the socials down below. Be sure to check that out and show some support. So with that, let's get right into it. Okay, so earlier this year, the community was already set on Borderlands 3 being shown at E3 after the big Walmart leak, which ended up, as we know, not happening. Borderlands 3 was not shown or even mentioned, and Gearbox really never made a statement besides Randy Pitchford made a few hints and responded to a few people saying don't believe all the leaks, don't believe really anything that comes out about Borderlands 3. After that happened, I knew that Gearbox didn't want to show anything else related to Borderlands 3 in 2018. Gearbox really does love using PAX West as promotion for the series, and they've time and time again used them in the past to show games, to promote them, to make it a big deal, especially for the Borderlands franchise. But the fact that they didn't have a presence at this year's show at all, Gearbox Publishing's had a few things to show, and I believe Randy Pitchford was part of a panel. But Gearbox didn't even try to lead us on with any sort of announcement. They didn't say they were going to have a big presence there. They didn't tell us anything. So it was just the normal community kind of building up hype where Gearbox wasn't even trying to trick us. They weren't trying to trick us, which kind of led me on to believe nothing's going to happen here. Gearbox doesn't want to show anything and they don't want to hype people up for nothing. Also, if you remember earlier this year, Take-Two said that they only wanted to release one major title per year, like a AAA game, each and every year now. And with Red Dead Redemption 2 being the choice for 2018, it doesn't make sense for Gearbox to rush ahead and put out Borderlands 3 for nothing to compete with another Take-Two title. Another reason that I don't think we will see anything else in 2018 is that so many of the job listings presumably for Borderlands 3 have still not been filled. There's always the possibility that Gearbox has filled the positions but just hasn't taken down the job postings, but I would argue that that's less probable than actually needing more staff. They still need writers, they still need art department, they're basically hiring for everything, so... I think Gearbox is still just kind of ramping up, working as fast as they can with the staff that they have currently. So what does this mean for the future? Well, the only way I could see us getting any more news this year about Borderlands 3 would be from the Nirvana Live Show podcast that's hosted by Randy Pitchford. He usually takes another Gearbox staff member or just another industry friend somewhere in the gaming industry. And they talk, they take community questions, and during one show earlier this year, we got a lot of info straight from Randy Pitchford about Borderlands 3. If you've been following my channel for a while, I already covered that the show is taking a break, and it's still part of its summer break, so we haven't heard from them in three months, I believe. But they did say inside a tweet that they do want to return in the fall for new shows and new content from that page. So I am holding out a small glimmer of hope that we will get some updates on the game. They do take community questions and Gearbox's biggest community is for Borderlands and they really want to know whatever Randy can tell us. And whenever there is a new video or new podcast, I'll be sure to post it out. I'll probably post it on Twitter and then I'll probably have a video breaking down anything that's important if there is something worth mentioning. Even if Randy, though, doesn't tell us what to expect from the game on the live show, I think it'd be more interesting to tell us when to expect Borderlands 3. If they are going to stick with their traditional fall release, or kind of push forward into a summer slash spring release. I do think that the game will sell like crazy, the dedicated fans will get it, and eventually the general public will pick up to it. They do have a lot of competition next year between Cyberpunk 2077 and Anthem. So Gearbox is going to need to be really smart with how they market the game and not have another Battleborn on their hands. So overall, I wouldn't expect too much more this year in terms of news. 
Don't let every single convention trick you guys into thinking that there might be some Borderlands 3 news or that there's something that's going to happen with Borderlands 3. If anything, hold out hope for something to ban a podcast. I'll link the Twitter page down below so you guys can know. Whenever they tweet, you can go follow them, stay up to date. But I still believe Borderlands 3 will release next year and blow everyone away with how much Gearbox has done to the franchise once we actually see the new game, the new engine, everything like that. But let me know what you guys think down below. Did you expect an announcement at PAX West? Or do you still think Gearbox will stay quiet until next year? Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next one.